Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time, uh, welcome. Uh, click that like and subscribe button, please, uh, while you're here. And on today's edition of What's in the Bag, maybe that's what I'll start calling these. What's in the Bag? Anyway, what's in the bag? I went to a flea market today uh, in uh, Syracuse, which is not close for me, but I have limited picking spots during the winter here in New York, so I gotta go where I can go. You gotta go where the stuff is, right? That's just a fact. So, we went to where some stuff was, and we bought some stuff, so that's how it works, right? It's 5 a.m. in the morning, we're at a flea market in Syracuse, so I'm gonna take a little look around and see if I can find anything. I don't know how much shooting I'm gonna do, because I just got my phone, so... It'd be a little awkward, but we'll see what happens. That's a military photo. Not a lot of people here. It's the winter in New York, and it is what it is, but it's kind of a nice day. It's not cold. It's really not cold at all compared to what it's normally like in December. So, hope more people show up. Got this for a dollar. Nice fitted Clemson hat. And uh, this Hopalong Cassidy jacket. George Russell. Little kid's jacket. Seen comps going for a couple hundred bucks. I paid 25. So. What's in the bag? I went to a flea market today uh, in uh, Syracuse, which is not close for me, but I have limited picking spots during the winter here in New York, so I gotta go where I can go. You gotta go where the stuff is, right? That's just a fact. So, we went to where some stuff was, and we bought some stuff, so that's how it works, right? So let's take a look at what's in the bag. Also, I love Hobby Lobby. Just mentioned that. I like to sculpt and play with clay. Maybe I'll show you some of my sculpture sometime. But that's a one of the first things I bought. This is painted on silk. It's hand painted on silk by Becky or Bucky, one of the two. But it's a really neat uh, caricature of a possibly a Vietnamese man. Also, I paid it. Well, that was two dollars, by the way, and I'll I'll pay two dollars for original art all day, every day, <laughs> whatever it is. I love art. Um, back to Hobby Lobby, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so I bought this for a dollar, Clemson fitted hat, still got the sticker on there, it's in really good shape, I think I looked that up, that should be at least 15 bucks, 15 or 20 bucks, I'm hoping, hmm, oh, uh, this is something I never knew even existed, uh, it's an electric lighter made by General Electric. Paid five dollars for that. I've been seeing comps of like forty dollars for forty dollars if they're working. So I got to test that out. See if it works. Uh, ooh, these uh, stack of photos. But what's kind of cool about these, they're all military. I love military photos. I love photos, but especially military. These ones are for the Flying Tigers, which gained fame during World War II, but these are from the 50s when they were stationed in Greenland in, the, I think it was 54 to 58, something like that. The Flying Tigers, 74th Fighter Squadron. So I got a whole stack of photos from this guy. I think that's him, because I see a lot of photos of him in there, so. Those are kind of neat. I'm not sure what kind of price to put on these, though, at the moment. I got some research to do. 
those were World War II, that'd be like a thousand dollar pile of photos being, uh, what you call it, flying tigers, but since it's post-war, no go. I oh, bought a sign. I'm not too into signs, but if I can buy a sign this side, because this is easy to ship. Nice tin tacker, equipped with Gould's Water Systems, which is a company, I think, from Seneca Falls, New York, which isn't too far from here. I mean, an hour or so, so that's pretty cool. I paid $20 for that. I think that's got to be worth at least, at least $100. Ooh. Some comics. These are all 10 centers. Mostly one, one 15 center, but all mostly 10 centers, which... The condition is really rough on most of them, so I'm not expecting any of these to be worth crazy money, but maybe 10 bucks at most, and well, I might get lucky, we'll see, but I did look this one up because it was so nice. This one's in, like, really good condition, and it's the only one I've looked up so far, and even in good condition, they're selling for, like, 10, 15 bucks, so that's my luck, but anyway... Uh, more photos with the photos. Ooh. Mickey Mouse wristwatch made by Timex, still in the original box. I paid five dollars actually, even though the price tag says twenty. I paid five. I was willing, I was about to guy I was about to give the guy 20 bucks. I had it in my hand, and I'm like, eh, maybe I'll take 15. Yeah, first I'll pay 20 if I have to. And as I'm going up, he's like, five dollars for the watch. And I'm like, okay. And these are all over the place on as far as comps. Um, but I think it might be worth over a hundred, but it's missing the the winder, so I, that obviously hurts it. So um Something else that requires a little more research before I list. Oh, these. I didn't know what these were when I bought them. I just, I knew they were military patches. And there was a bunch of them. They're all the same. I paid $5 for the whole box. But it turns out they're World War II German. All unsewn, never used German World War II patches. They're all the same. They're for, um... They're German sleeve patches, um, and they indicated this was for transportation, uh, a soldier that was in the transportation, and I got 23 of these. Actually, make that 24. I found one in the bottom of the bag, and I paid $5 for the whole bag, and I looked these up. These go for about $25, $30. I'll probably blow them out at like $15, $20, and... At five dollars, how can you go wrong? Uh, here's a cool bit of military. Bought this full of medical supplies. Somebody was using it for a camping like first aid kit. But what this is is a World War II. I can't remember the technical term for the decoder, but it was like a we had a special code machine, a decoder machine that would have went in this pouch. And the pouch by itself is worth about 50 bucks, believe it or not, 40, 50 bucks. If I had the decoder machine in, it'd be worth well over a thousand, but yeah, I'm not that lucky. Then I found this old shooting jacket, vintage shooting jacket, but it's for competition. It's got some cool vintage patches on the back. I paid $25. I think I can get at least 100 for something like this. The patches are pretty neat, and it's, it is vintage. Let me see. It says, America's Finest 10X, America's Finest Sport Clothing. That's kind of cool. And... This is a World War One German death card. Kind of like a 
memorial thing for soldiers that were killed in combat. However, it's in German, and I don't speak German, so I can't tell you, but I know his name was Franz Xavier Martin. Franz. That's a neat little piece. I don't think they're worth a whole heck of a lot, but for $3, I wasn't going to pass it up. I think maybe I'll look them up, but probably $10, $15 right there. Mm -hmm. oh, it's definitely winter. I can feel it when I'm in the garage now. And I forgot my phone, so I didn't get these, and it was too cold to come back in and do the spiel. But two things just grabbed from out there that need to go in packages. This is a World War One rifle sling. Nice canvas one that sold for eighty dollars. And this little guy. Beatles fan club member. That just sold for twenty dollars. So, and honestly, I don't know what I got into these because they're just stuff that I found while I was cleaning. So, probably something I bought with other stuff. So, both are probably just pure profit. <laughs> so that's fun. And I sold three more. Z bots. And they're all from the same set. I sold a set. So three to the same gentleman. They're all military styles. These three guys. Somebody just bought all three of those. Sent me three different offers. So, good enough for me. Get those packages out. Also, I just wanted to point out that free shipping comes in really handy when people buy multiple items because then you don't need to mess around with doing an invoice and, you know, adding up the subtotal because they've just paid and it's free shipping anyway so mm, they just paid so it's easy as that it's a little cleaner i guess mm, got some sales got some sales gotta grab a few things got sold the fixed bale steel pot for 155 free shipping so can't complain about that. LL Bean hat. Somewhere in here. That sold for twenty five. Free shipping. Here. I think what I'm looking for. Yep. Just sold this for 20 bucks. Bought this in an antique shop in South Carolina for like three bucks. So 20 bucks isn't too bad. Um, what else? I got a shirt over here. It's gonna be dark. But, uh, well, it's dark, I'm sorry. What did I do with it? World War II thermal undershirt. Got forty dollars for that. So got a few things to get packaged up, and uh, I think ten or so for the weekend. So not as many as last weekend, but I'm not complaining at the same time. So decent weekend. Plus, I just bought some cool stuff that I got to get listed at some point. So. Uh, and I did, I forgot one day. Uh, this Vietnam era MP Bizarre or armband, if you prefer. That just sold for uh, sold a while ago. I forgot to grab it. $40. Nice small piece. 
It's going to be easy to shift a little bit. 